Roy Fudge with Shoreline Marine Products. I've been a certified marine mechanic for over 25 years and I'm here today as Captain Weekend. Today I'm going to share a variety of easy boating projects that you can do yourself with the common tools that you've probably got in your toolbox right now. I'll be by your side every step of the way and together we'll install a variety of top quality Shoreline Marine Products to get you back on the water faster. So let's get going. Grab your tools and I'll share my tips and tricks so you can easily install those new hot shoreline accessory and replacement parts and be your own Captain Weekend. Hi, it's Loy, Captain Weekend with Shoreline Marine Products. Fixing to go out to the lake tomorrow morning, so we're checking out the motor, making sure everything's good. Got all of our safety equipment on our boat, and uh, going to crank the motor, make sure it starts. Don't have any problems there, so when we get to the top of the ramp tomorrow, we'll be ready to go. You always want to use a motor flusher when you're starting your motor if you're not in the water. Reason being, if you crank it without having water going through your motor, not only will you overheat your motor, but you'll also burn your water pump out, and you won't have any water flow when you do get to the water. Virtually all inboard, outboard, and outboard motors have water intakes for the cooling purposes of the motor. Intakes are usually down on the gear case in the middle. It comes up, runs through your engine, comes back out. It's got an overboard indicator where you get a little bit of a stream coming out, and then the rest of it comes out through your exhaust. Shoreline Marine offers three different style of flushers. The economy version fits pretty much a universal fit on all of the outboards and stern drives. They do one that has a little bit heavier rubber, square intakes, covers up your intakes a little bit better so that you don't have any escaped water coming out of it. And then they also have a double pumper which offers a little bit more water flow for your larger outboards and stern drive motors. All right, we're gonna hook it up to our motor. You, you wanna double check your intakes, easily slide the muffs over, make sure all your holes are covered on here. That way you won't be having any water pressure escape out of here or inducing air into your water flow system. A lot of outboards come with flushing attachments already on the motor. They're not actually designed to run the motor. It actually back feeds the water pump and the water pump's pushing the water back out of where it's coming from. They're just designed to rinse your motor out if you're on a lifter at the dock. This way your water's coming in through the intakes goes through your water pump, cleans your whole motor. Now that we've run the motor, we're going to disconnect everything. While we had it running, we made sure we had water coming out of our indicator, had it coming out of the prop, make sure that we had good water flow through the engine so we know we're not going to have any problems with our cooling system while we're on the water. One thing you definitely want to do when you come back off the water, make sure you flush it again, run it four or five minutes, not really much longer than that. You want to get the engine back up to temperature to help flush all the contaminants and, and salt water corrosion and everything else out of your motors. Even in fresh water, there's a lot of impurities in fresh water that causes corrosions up in the block inside your water passages. So it's critical even in fresh water to do the flush when you get back off the water also. And remember, Captain Weekend flushes all the time. 